I'm going to pull the headlights out. Um, I'm trying to take care of two things. Number one is I want to replace the lenses because they're old. Okay. <coughs> Obviously it's raining right now, but these things are old. They're 10 years old. Bought new lenses. I want to take it apart anyway. Um, I want to remove the orange and put a clear here with an orange bulb. And I want to uh, just get a nice new clean lens on there and I'm going to put some paint protection film on it. So we're going to get that done. And if you can see here, we have a water issue here. So I need to figure out why this is leaking. Why there's water getting in there. Um, I took it apart to check out why and I just resealed it and I didn't do it, go any further than that. At the same time, I, you, you can see I wrapped that inner chrome trim in black. Black satin wrap. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to pull it apart and I'm going to wrap this one the same way. Um, and we're going to put the new lenses on it and get some paint protection film on but so you know the process uh, we got some bolts to take out here we need to pull the bumper forward so we have to take all the fasteners off from the wheel well inside here and we got to take the two bolts out there in here that come in here two 10 millimeters and we take the whole face and we slide it forward a little bit and then you can get the headlight out there's a couple of screws on top you need a really long screwdriver um, so when we get into that we will uh, we'll talk about it but for right now I'm gonna obviously it's raining so I'm gonna pull the car into the garage and uh, kind of wipe off that area a little bit and uh, get her taken apart. So, okay, we have the car up in the air. We're going to take off uh, the headlights. Um, this is a uh, T27. Um, you need something like this to get down in here. Screws down here. This is not a capture screw, it's more of a tension screw. You crack it loose and then it releases to allow it's like a fork style. Um, similar to the one that's also over here. There's one here too. There's one there, there's one there, and there's this one 10 millimeter here. But the light itself is captured by the bumper all the way around. You can't get it out unless you take the bumper and release it. So we have to, <coughs> excuse me, we have to remove the bumper in order to do this. <coughs> so I'm going to end up doing both sides. Um, we've been over the bumper before. There's uh, two 10 millimeter uh, nuts in here, right down in here, and then there's a couple of uh, Torx fasteners in here you got to release to get the shield out of the way and to release it from being tied across. Um, I'm not dropping the hole, sorry, down here. Um, there's some Torx here and there's some bar release here. Um, I'm not dropping the fascia all the way down. Um, I'm only going to get it enough to get it to pull away and kind of drop a little bit. I'm not going to release the bottom or anything. And I've done this before, and it works out pretty good. So, let's give it a shot. Um, I'll get everything all loose. I'll get the fascia pulled away, and then we'll pull off a headlight. Um, on the driver's side, you have to remove this air duct in order to get to the connection for the power uh, to the light. And obviously, this one's right here. So, right down there. Release that off of there, and then you pull this. Take this right here. Oh, that tire up just broke. Anyways, there's a fastener right here that uh, we can pry off. I'll pull. I'll put a new zip tie on there and then uh, it should come right out. All right, so let's do that. Okay, <clears throat> we've got both headlights out. Basically, once you get to this point here, you can just slide it forward. You know, you get the fasteners off and you can get the little studs out right here. And you kind of snap out right here and then slide it forward like that. And you can get it, and be careful right here. This has paint protection film on it, so I'm not too concerned, I'm sorry, right here. Not too concerned about that right there. And then there's some little retention areas here to get and you kind of pull it off the front. You can get it to come out far enough to get your headlight out. Um, also, for those that are wondering about the you know the when you get your check washer fluid level and you know it's full and you keep having a problem, um, the sensor is right here. See right there? Um, if you can see, there's a little bit of uh, white uh, um, I think a silicone caulk I put on there. Um, when I took the headlight out uh, to figure out what was going on with the water, um, I found someone had cut those wires and tied them together to try to bypass the switch. Here's the problem. That is an analog signal. Um, it was actually setting a bunch of other alarms on the display in the vehicle showing false alarms because it was a direct short. Don't ever do that. This switch was literally like 18 bucks. Um, you just pull it out, it's kind of just shoved in, and you just kind of wiggle your way out. And then what I used, I used a little bit of white lithium grease on it. When I went to go shove the new one back in and popped it back in, I ended up having to rebuild the connector. 
redo this connector right here because they did cut it. So I had to take the disassemble it and it requires special tools to do that. I've had to do it before because people bypass switches. So I took care of that. No more alarms. No nothing on the dash anymore. I was getting TPM sensors. I was getting uh, wheel uh, traction control light was going on. I was getting um, uh, speed sensor issues. It was a bunch of weird alarms coming on the display. I wasn't sure what the hell was going on, and it was very, very random. It would turn on, then they would shut off, turn on, then it would shut off. Well, I knew I had to replace the switch, ordered a switch, took it apart, found that. I wish I would have recorded it, but I didn't. I was so pissed off when I saw it that someone would actually do something like that. So, I got the headlights out, <clears throat> and now I'm trying to figure out why this one has water in it, and everywhere I check seems to be sealed in this one over here. So I'm going to take it inside the house, um, and we're going to disassemble it. Um, I really don't know what else to do about looking for leaks. I think I'm going to put some, I'm going to take the bulb out here. I think I'm going to add a bunch of water to the lens and kind of slosh it around to see if any of this stuff is leaking. Uh, other than that, I don't know what else to do. Everywhere it was supposed to release air is releasing air. This side's doing it and it works fine. So, not sure what's going on. So, let's do that. I went through and I, um, started pouring water all the way around it. I had multiple different methods trying to figure out why it was leaking. I even tested the other one. The water, even that same little drain hole on the side came in the same spot. Um, so now there's water in the other headlight. I don't know why the moisture is getting in there or how it's getting in there. Um, I think when I go to take it apart, I am just going to really dry it out. So to take it apart, we're going to remove these metal clips right here. There's a few of them around it. And then we're going to take a heat gun on this edge right here and then just basically peel it away. This little this little piece right here just comes off. It's like kind of trapped on right there and gets kind of stuck into here. So you could pull this off and then set this aside right here. And then I'll go back on after, after the new lens is in. So I got the new lenses in the other room. I'm going to heat this up and remove this. You take these little clips right here and you just pop them off. You don't want to bend them, so be easy with it. This little slow clip right here, just take them off. So I'm going to set those over here so I don't uh, set the light on them. Um, there's, I think there's five of them. So we're going to set those over there. Over there. I'm going to flip it upside down. Yeah, there's five. So there's three across here. Be careful with the, the adhesive. The butyl, which I bought new. Another roll of the butyl with the new lenses. And what I'll do is I'll level off around the perimeter just to make sure there's enough. But I think there's, you know, if you take this apart correctly, there's generally enough left. But uh, when I took it apart last time, I just kind of squeezed it around and kind of dragged it around and filled in the areas around the edges. Um, I attempted to put some of the silicone on it here, which obviously it just comes right off. So, um, I don't think that was the issue, which, or that helped. I don't think it did anything. I mean, look at it. It just comes right off. So we'll clean all that off. We'll clean everything up. I'll look around for some more, but I don't know. We'll see. So I'm gonna stand this up right here if I can. I just I'm gonna grab the heat gun, plug the heat gun in. And we're gonna take this apart. Move you guys over a little bit. So let's plug the heat gun in and take this apart. And yes, I'm in the kitchen. It's only 40 degrees outside, so I prefer to work in here. And the wife ain't home. So hey, she's at work. I got towels down, it's okay.
last time all I did was start grabbing and pull. Then it came off. I think I may have pulled from this side. This butyl is actually pretty good stuff. I like it. Normal adhesive that uh, I think GM and everyone else uses. It's a pain in the ass. So I'm pulling pretty good. So, just so you know, I'm trying not to get this all over the place. Twisting the screwdriver, I'm not prying. You don't want to get your hands on that butyl. So, go around and break the string to keep them away from the internals. the lens. Internal trim piece there wrapped. We will be doing the other one again, so I gotta transfer that over. Um, we're gonna remove the screwdriver at. Get rid of all this white cock shoved in there. 
did absolutely nothing. Okay. Then I'm going to take this butyl that came out and I'm going to shove it back in here. Once this stuff starts to get cold again, it uh, sets up. It becomes pretty tough. But like I said, I have more. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to spread that around again. So it looks like it was bonding pretty good all the way around. So I don't know why. I don't know why it was leaking. So that's not basically when you go to put it back on, you'd heat it up. I'll show you how to put it back together. Um, I plan on uh, disassembling the internals here. There's a couple of screws in here I'm going to take off. And here, I'll need to get rid of this plastic shield here. And then I want to get this off. Not sure how to get to that point yet. But I'm going to get that off. It might go with it, I think. And then we're going to get this lens swapped out. So let me work on that. Okay, so I figured out how to swap out the orange to clear it. Um, there's, once you take this piece out, there's another screw in the corner. I think it's... Yeah, right over here, just a screw in the corner over here, and a little clip right here. You've got to be very, very gentle and pull on this edge, and you get to pop out, and this chrome piece will pop out, and then the lens you can push through. Um, this is the one that was leaking, so I've added extra butyl up in here. Um, and now I'm in the process, I'm going to heat this all up with my heat gun, and then I'm going to squish the new lens in, which is actually sitting over there, right there. Um, and then uh, we'll see how it looks, and then I'm going to do some testing. Okay, so this is the headlight, it's back together. As you can see, it's got the new lens on it. It's got the clear on it. I just did a full water test. Um, and I dumped it, basically, as you can see, I'll, I dumped it all over it. And it didn't leak anywhere through here. I had extra butyl. And the only thing that concerns me is maybe during the summer, this might get too hot right here. And the butyl, that the extra butyl that's on the inside here may sag. And I'm not too, too sure what's going to happen. I can at least see it in there. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. You can see it right there. See a little extra up in there? It's like right up in there. So, we'll have to see what happens. I'm not sure what that's going to do. Hopefully it doesn't run all over the place and be all liquidy on me, but I highly doubt it. I mean, this stuff seems to be pretty tacky. It sets up pretty good. I mean, it gets hot and then this, you know, liquefies a little bit, but we're talking hot, hot. So, well, I have some uh, lens protectors I'm going to put on top of this right now. Uh, and then I'm going to start working on the other one. I'm just sitting over there. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to get this done today. So what I'll probably do is I'm going to leave this cap off right here. And also what I noticed... Where's this cap? This rubber seal on this cap... Damn it. Sorry. This rubber seal on this cap right here, which covers the axis over here to this light. Um, it was loose. So what I did is I took the seal and I pulled it out and I flipped it upside down and put it back on. And now when you go on there, it's actually, when you click it and lock it, it's tight. So I'm thinking the seal was probably maybe leaking right here. As the water was running from the top, running down right here, and leaking. So we'll have to see. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. So, all right, I'm going to start working on the other one. Okay. So you've taken your headlight apart, and you want to replace the orange with the clear. So what we're going to do is, is now we're going to take, I don't remember what size Torx this is, let me see. It's a T20. Okay, you take a T20 Torx, and there's a couple of screws around here to get rid of this internal bezel here. So there's one here, so you got one here. One here, one down there, okay? And that should get rid of this part. 
So let's do that. So I've already done the other one, so I know exactly how these fell apart. And my dog's talking to me. Wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? No? Go outside? Okay. Alright. Don't want to drop a screw down there because that would be a pain. So. Just like that. Now. That one comes straight out. So. You gotta take off your bulbs right here. You got this one here. And this one here just pulls straight out. Set like that. Set that there. Put this over here. Now we're gonna find that reflect you know, that screw. Fantastic. And there it is. Don't drop the screw. This is a magnetic tip for some reason it didn't hold it. So, don't do what I just did. The other one didn't do that, or the other headlight, I already did that one. So now there's another one right here. Right down inside here. So I'll take it out gently. And you'll get it like that. Okay, so now this is loose. Now what I did last time was I took a screwdriver, very, very gently. Yeah, I've been trying not to get fingerprints all over this stuff. I'm gonna have to clean it off. Very, very gently right here. I pry it up. Same time pulling straight. Making lots and lots of noise. Come on. There's a little pocket right here I'm kind of prying in. I don't like it came out. But it didn't. Right there, it doesn't want to come out. There's a little tab right inside there that needs to come out. And yeah, this one does not want to come apart. All right, well, that's the whole idea. There's a tab inside there, it's a pain in the ass. Now obviously you don't want to go breaking everything. I can see it right there. So I'm gonna stick my screwdriver in and see if I can get it to wedge around.
Almost out. That one right there, pain in the ass. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to break this assembly right there. See right here, that snaps in right there. So you got to be very, very careful. So that's it. Pain in the ass. That little tab right there is everything. So now we're gonna pop the lens. It's got these little tabs on there too, so they're kind of a, a booger. Like that. It's out. Snap this one back in. I'll make sure it's seated all the way. You kind of hear a pop. Come on. Obviously if this came loose in your headlight while you're driving on the road it would suck. Okay, that seems to be it. Nope. Son of a... It's right there. Yeah, those two are good. This one right here is a finger booger. Hmm. Okay. Being a bugger, I think this one's just yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this off first. I'm gonna put it back in the same way it came out. And that's how you change it. Um, when you're doing your butyl around here, make sure you take a screwdriver like this and you kind of knead it back in. You know, like this all the way around the edges. You want to kind of push it all back towards the middle. So when you install the lens back in. Yeah, obviously you're gonna run your heat gun around here and install your lens back in. You want it to have like a fresh area of butyl. I'm gonna add extra along, I don't know if it was along, oh, along this edge here, the top edge right here. I'm gonna fill up this gap a little bit more right here. So, hmm, maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I haven't decided. This one actually looks pretty good, but I'll go around through and I'll knead, knead all this back in. And get it to uh, be out kind of in the center and uniform. So you want to do that all the way around. So got the headlight back together. This is the new clear. I'm going to change that bulb to a uh, orange. Um, I may go LED. I'm not sure. I know these are very particular about that. I may change these also, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, I know that sets warnings and things like that. So we'll have to see. But uh, now we're going to take the internal piece here and we're going to wrap that and there goes the dog again so that's going to take a little while um my suggestion is i'm a real rookie at this so sorry i keep locking the camera um, i gotta find the right uh, torques in there it's a really small one right inside here Um, I would uh, search around the internet and, and kind of take 
take hits from uh, other people and stuff. Like I said, I'm a kind of a, I'm a rookie at this. I did the other one, it turned out okay. Um, but I haven't actually seen it through heat cycles or anything yet. Um, so far it's okay. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one, and if it fails, it fails. Um, I'd rather do, I'd rather wrap it than uh, plastic dip it. So, no, you need to stop it. So, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we got the vinyl all wrapped up, right here. Put it installed, right there. Can I see the back side of it? So, now we're gonna do the process of uh, putting it back together. So, it goes on like that. And basically, uh, we go over and, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of butyl to this area in here, because you can see it's kind of shallow, you know, shallow. I'll probably run it from here all the way around. Like I did the other one, and then uh, heat it up and squeeze it together. Um, I mean, obviously, if this wrap fails, it comes apart pretty easily. I can just take it back apart and try something else. That's the beauty of this. Okay, let me get back together. Okay, so this is the butyl. Right here, comes in a roll like this. And basically, I'm just going to uh, start, sit right here, and run it around and tack it in there. Like that, kind of shove it down in there, back in there real good. And then I'll uh, use the scissors over there and I'll cut it when I get up to here. stop like right here there's a lot down there on this one I'm just gonna take these scissors right here and just trim it pretty straightforward that's it put that away continue squishing this down in That's it, we're gonna heat it up and get it pushed on. Okay, got it back together. It's brand new, doesn't it? Yeah, brand new lens. Wrap the internals, nuclear corners over there. And then now I'm gonna put uh, Laminex, a clear guard over the lens itself to protect it. Um, and anything extra that squirted out, the butyl squirted out here. I just trimmed it with a razor blade and it trimmed right off. So, yeah, turned out pretty good. So we get that clear protection on like I did the other one. The other one lay on the floor over there. See on the floor? So I got it sitting over there. I wanted to get it vented out and that was one that was leaking just to make sure there's no moisture in it. And then uh, tomorrow I will uh, get it back on the vehicle and uh, get it up. Get it uh, a final view on what it looks like. So I'm going to get the Laminex on here. Um, I gotta clean it off with some alcohol and then get that installed. So that's pretty straightforward. Those are pretty easy to do. I just read the instructions on the package right here. So it's pretty straightforward. It wasn't too bad. So then I get to clean my mess. Alright? Okay, so let's get a quick view of the front. So this is how it turned out between the headlights and the grill. You can see. I mean, this is an old grill, 10 year old car. It's got a little bit of, looks like polishing compound or something stuck to it. And there's some nicks here and there and things like that. But the, the wrap turned out pretty good. This is the very first thing I ever wrapped that was this large. I mean, there were some chips in the chrome and stuff and basically it went over it and I just wrapped over this whole thing. So, so far it's holding up. It's been on there for, I think a week now I, I did this. 
and uh, just wanted to give you an update so I can close, close out this video. So eventually I'm going to wrap the whole front of the car and everything's going to be wrapped. The headlights turned out fantastic. They look brand new now. So. Alright, thanks for watching.